So last year, when we were coming home from our fall vacation from North Carolina, headed back to Florida, this was probably one or two days before Halloween. So the McDonald's boo buckets from last year in 2023 um, they had already stopped selling them by that point, right? I think they were only available to like the 25th or 26th. But anyways, I always wanted one of the promo things from like one of the promo windows where you see them advertising the boo buckets. They're sort of, they're usually 3D. Sometimes they have the actual buckets on display, but usually it's just like a cardboard image with like some 3D effects on it. So anyways, I went to one of the McDonald's on the way back from North Carolina. They said no. I went to another McDonald's a couple states down on the way back to Florida, and they said yes. And the lady actually got me this out of the cabinet. She actually unlocked it, took it out, and said, here you go. Uh, so I got this from last year. It's sort of a 3D, if you can see that there. It's a cardboard, like, standee kind of thing that, go, that went inside of one of those glass windows or plastic windows. And the buckets, they're like plastic versions of the actual buckets that they had, but they're sort of sticking out 3D, if you can see that on the screen. But it's very cool. And this is what they gave me. Boo buckets are back. So I was very, very stoked to have this. Um, obviously not as cool as some of like the, I think they were called trans lights uh, back in the day. The trans light imagery, the trans light promos were basically be a big piece of like acrylic or plastic with the image on it. And they would light it from behind. I think they were called trans light. Uh, but Dinosaur Dracula has a bunch of those. If you want to go check those out, he's got a bunch of those old trans light. That's what I'm talking about. I want to collect those next, but this is still a very cool minor piece of Boo Buckets history that I'm personally very, very stoked to own. It's fantastic. It's got the pumpkin on there, the mummy, the, uh, the Frankenstein's monster and the vampire. Uh, I wish I had got one of these in 2022 when they first released the classic lineup again or at least the homage to the classic lineup. I tried, I failed that year, but luckily last year in 23, I was able to snag this. I don't know what to do with it. I don't know where to hang it. I guess I should have hung it here for the Halloween season, but it's just big, bulky, weird shaped. I guess I could flatten this out and put it in like a shadow box frame. That would be cool, but it's just so weird and bulky. You can't fold it up. You can't roll it up. It's just, it's bizarre and cool. And I'm so glad to own it. I just don't know where to put it. So with that said, Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for joining me in this explosive little boot bucket uh, promo nostalgic venture, I guess you could say. And uh, I appreciate you guys watching the channel. I will see you guys next time. Subscribe, comment, and goodbye.